quit, clean my refrigerator, organize my pantry shelves, and the top of my refrigerator together for the big game tomorrow. But first, smash on that subscribe board, tap on that bell, give this video a big thumbs up. We're gonna open my refrigerator together. I'm gonna take everything out. And we're gonna start with a clean slate. I don't want my hand to get in the way here. I'm gonna leave the refrigerator open so you guys can get a good view. I'm just trying to get this place decluttered and organized since my views are going up on a daily basis. And I'm over a thousand subscribers. And I want it to look nice in here. The refrigerator's kind of falling apart here. But you're going to get a glimpse of it. I'm going to use the, my tri pack of ketchup that I recently picked up at BJ's because it was a really great price with a coupon. And the refrigerator at the bottom, as you can see, is sort of falling apart. My landlord bought this about five years ago, and he got a cheap one. We're going to start taking things out. The tray sits on the shelf. As you just saw, it won't go in the, the section anymore. They have trays that you can attach that I've seen online and fashion colors which I'm considering getting as long as it doesn't take up too much vertical space from this part down. I'm going to look into them further when the tax time starts happening. I'm going to get all this out of here then we're going to wipe it down completely. I'm going to rinse off the chopping mats. If they smell really bad I'm going to discard them. I get them at the Dollar Tree. They're a two-pack. They're a lot better than the placemats because they're not busy and they blend in with everything and this way I can meal plan from my refrigerator first before I go to my freezer and go to the pantry shelves. Hello everyone let's start taking everything out with the middle shelf first. Get out the Lazy Susan, the chopping mats they need to be rinsed and washed. And I got my sponge that I'm going to grab and a I'm going to scrub that shelf. I'm going to pull the turkey out. Disappear for a minute. I'm going to move the beer and the Gatorades to the opposite side so I can scrub that shelf out. The top shelf, I'm going to start taking everything out of that. You saw I took the big turkey out for dinner tomorrow and I wiped down and moved the beer over and I'm going to continue on. Now we're taking the stuff off the top shelf so I can organize the produce and make it accessible to my family. And we're going to also wipe it down and rinse off the chopping mats. They're almost invisible on the shelf. There I go, pulling them from the shelf. And then I'm going to scrub it like I did the middle shelf and then rinse off the chopping mats before I put them back in and before we put everything back into the refrigerator. Everything is out and I wiped it all down. I'm going to rinse the chopping mats. They smell pretty good still. They're not gross smelling. I'm just going to rinse them first before I put them back in. And I'm going to wipe out the hot soapy water with a clean tea towel. Just wiping it out with the tea towel to make sure there's no soap. And I rinsed out the chopping mats as you saw. I leave them a little wet so they stick to the shelves and not move. They work really well from the Dollar Tree. They're a two-pack. I rinsed out and dried off the chopping mats. I did keep them slightly wet so they stick and stay to the refrigerator shelves. Now I'm going to start organizing and going through all the food. I'm going to put the eggs back first. I always keep my eggs on the top left shelf. I haven't been able to find the Dollar Tree egg holders. I don't think they're in my part of New York. If anybody has at the Dollar Tree, please email me and let me know. Countryboots1268 at yahoo.com that information is in my description box down below. Now we're going to start putting things back, starting with the eggs on the top shelf. I'm going to play around with it, put the produce at the top of the shelf, 
I got the blackberries, bell peppers, the celery, and the kielbasa. I have my cheese soup. I'm going to tear the top off of the Uncrustables so they can access them, my kids. I tore the top off the Uncrustables box for easy access for my kids. We bought them for lunch this next week and also the following week when they're on winter break. They have a whole week off from school. We still get a traditional winter break as well as Christmas, then a spring break in March. Plus, we'll have a long Memorial Day weekend because we've had like one snow day this year. Playing around with the cheese. I'm going to put it there for a few minutes. I'm going to quickly go through this tray here. It's supposed to be to keep fresh. But as you can see, it's got to house lots of different things. It needs to be cleaned out at the bottom before it goes back into the fridge. I want to see if anything's expired in it. Another example that my family does not put things back the way it belongs. And take care of these bins and organize the sausages. Put the Polish sausage in with it. The bacon's on the opposite side. I'm going to tuck the pepperoni in. The cheese sticks in the front, and I'm going to put the crescent rolls in the back. I had to remove some of the laughing cow cheese. They've been there for quite a long time. I'm going to put the pepperoni right here with the bacon and the extra croissant in the back here behind the kielbasa. The kielbasa I put back here is for the Dollar Tree dinner so my husband doesn't confuse them. This next kielbasa is going to be a crock pot barbecue kielbasa with a Coca-Cola marinade. Let's put this tray back. I'm going to put the milk down there. I don't want that to go bad in the middle because the turkey's going to have to go ahead there. It's got to sit out for a little while so it's ready to cook in the morning. The butter, we buy this at BJ's. We get the bulk pack usually on sale when we buy it. Put those right there so we get rid of a box. New video premiering. As soon as you guys let me know which one I'm going to upload tonight at 8 p.m. It may be tonight or it may be in the morning. It's the winner for the poll for the canned chicken casserole. I like to use Lazy Susan that I picked up a couple years ago at Walmart. I think I like it like that. And then there'll be room for the turkey opposite side of the milk on the bottom. This is what I use to make those dinner rolls with the self-rising flour. Don't want to push it too far back. right there. 
need done again. They look good. Take a look. Hundred percent better. I just gotta wipe a little bit on the door. Let's adjust the camera so Let's you can see the door it. and what it looks like. We keep a lot of bottles and condiments in this door, like hot sauce, vodka, sour cream syrup, mayonnaise, water, mustard, ketchup. The usuals that most people do. Like I said, this was given to me about five years ago. The landlord bought it, and I keep it in the best condition that I can. As long as it works, I'm okay with it. This apartment is nice, and it does have storage, but the storage has been done like half-assed. We're going to sweep this up. I don't know how else to explain that. I mean, the house is over 140 years old. The woman downstairs has lived here for about four years. And I make the best of it. The floors were redone about 10 years ago in here. At least part of them were. So I don't know if it was a complete redo. Make sure we get underneath this. Because spring is in the next 6 to 8 weeks. I want to keep things clean as possible. With ants and things waking up when the weather gets nicer. I keep a chalk barrier because they do not like chalk. I want to find a new place for that utility rack. I like it, but I don't want anything there anymore because it's just cluttering and it's hard to get into the fridge into the oven. I'm going to mop where I just moved that utility cart that I picked up at Walmart pretty cheaply in store. Wherever I try to organize, my husband unorganizes it and clutters it. It's very frustrating. I'm done sweeping and mopping. I'm going to put the utility cart back. And I'm going to scrub the window pane quickly. I'm going to climb to the top of the refrigerator here with my chair and my teen is down below, you can't see them I'm taking everything off and they're putting it on the floor to me. And I wiped it down off camera. And they're going to help me get the stuff over in the far back corner so we can use this space even better, make it more organized. I'm going to start by putting most common use in the front and the less common use in the back. My husband likes his tea bottles where he can grab them, and the cereal where they can grab them, my kids. We decided not to put that basin that you see, the white one, up at the top because it took up too much space. And I'll find another section for that. I put the pepper towels up there and a couple of boxes of the cereal. Rearranging things as we go along. Everything is up on top that my husband can grab easily, including the extra paper towels. I took down that little shelving unit I had. It was taking up way too much space and wasn't very useful. 
Now that there's some items on my countertop I need to take care of, as well as some items on my Follow me for a long time. These are my pantry shelves from Aldi. My team put them together. A lot of this stuff is old, except for the graham crackers. We've had them for a long time. That's still pretty good. We just bought new ones. And I gotta sift through everything and make room for the new snacks. I'm gonna quickly unpack this box and put it into the bin. Example of my husband not putting things away. Quickly fill up this basket with the soup and put it away. A side view of the pantry shelves. I'm going to sift through the popcorn and put it into the red container next to it. And I'm going to organize the container, the white one, with the hot chocolate and the oatmeal so it's easier for my kids to grab, making things more accessible for my family. I like to use Dollar Tree bins for organization or the containers that they come in for free organization. It just makes sense not to spend a lot of money on organization products. I didn't like the crackers in there, so I just ripped the box halfway down and put it back in it and sat the box right in front of the red container. I just only could only get a side view. I just gotta move the chair out of the way. I'm gonna put that back in a minute. That was on top of the fridge. Now it's housing all this stuff on the side here. And I have no other place to put the utility cart, so it's gotta go back here in the garbage can. I can go alongside of it. It's gonna go into the wash for tomorrow. And then we did on top of the refrigerator, which I wiped down off camera. The turkey's gonna go back in there in a little bit. We organized and cleaned the refrigerator. And I took everything off. This I'm gonna put into storage. So I need something for it. And I'm gonna make some crescent roll pizza later. We did it. We did it in a couple hours. We got the refrigerator done, the top of the fridge, the utility cart. I got under it and mopped it, which needed it really bad. I found a new home for all the stuff that was in front of the door that goes to the store area. We did some of the bins on my pantry shelves that needed serious attention, and the stuff that's on the floor is on top of the fridge. I'm feeling pretty good. I'm ready for the big game. But before we go, smash on that subscribe word, tap on that bell, and give this video a big thumbs up.